concerned about this violence, and at least one will, in fact, close. CBS 13's Angela Musalam is live in Roseville for us tonight with what businesses and shoppers plan to do. Angela. Yeah, Adrian, you wouldn't usually think or expect a shopping center like this to become a platform for protests, but that's what's expected to happen tomorrow at 10 o'clock. And these uh, protesters are known to be violent, and now shoppers and uh, business owners are worried that this violence could now spill into their stores. We don't know what part, you know, um, how big it's going to be. We're just hearing about it. Treva Cook, owner of the Rock Hill Boutique, is concerned about this weekend. She says she got a text this morning from a family member warning her about protests at the Fountains Shopping Center on Saturday. A right wing group by the name of Act for America is planning a protest as part of a nationwide rally against Islam and Sharia law. But Roseville Resistance, a left wing group, says it's going to counter protest that rally across the way at the Galleria. If anything um, erupts, comes up, I think just for the safety of the employees and our customers, we would also close our store. With two radical groups coming so close together, Cook says she wants to play it safe. <laughs> It wouldn't be the first time violence erupted. Last year, alt right and anti fascist groups clashed at the state capitol, ending in almost a dozen stabbings. Whenever there's divisiveness, we definitely don't support that. Some families who were shopping at the fountains on Friday say while they honor the First Amendment, protesting at a shopping center is inefficient. This is not the way. To change America. This message was displayed on the Fountains Shopping Center webpage Friday. Mall management wouldn't comment on the security plan ahead of the protest. Definitely wouldn't be coming out tomorrow. And the Tarbia Institute is hosting an interfaith dinner tonight ahead of tomorrow's protests. Muslim leaders now calling for peace and unity from both sides. Well, you certainly hope it can be peaceful. All right, Angela, thanks so much for that live report.